Hello and welcome back to Hexus Gaming. We're back with another episode of 7 Days to Die Omniscience. We're on episode 27, days 53 and 54. So as I've been saying with the last few streams that uh, the difficulty doesn't seem, you know, all that difficult. <laughs> so I've increased the zombie speed for uh, all stages of the day. So zombies are now faster, meaner, and just playing harder to kill. I've increased the overall difficulty of the game as well. So we'll see if we can still survive this zombie apocalypse or if we get our brains eaten almost immediately. So it should be very interesting. Last episode we got the gyrocopter built up so we're ready to go flying. We're gonna go to the uh, I believe it's the doctor something I can't even remember now. It's the doctor's residence anyway is the big tier 5 doctor's residence which has some interesting story elements to it so the story elements have something to do with how the outbreak started and got worse and all that good stuff so yeah there's lots of cool little implications there uh, about uh, what's going on in the game and that I can't wait until we actually have like a storyline that it's gonna be so awesome but yeah it, it looks like uh, if you if you pay attention to some of the things in the game and that it looks like initially it was like a viral outbreak and then they tried to fight back against it and the virus fought back and they did experimentation and stuff and that's when things went really stupid so <laughs> that's the that's the POI that we're going to be exploring today which I think is really cool so I got my gyrocopter so let's take and head on into the game and see how long we last as always twitch integration will be enabled so the audience can interact with the stream and cause things to happen which is so much fun. I love doing that. There's Pockets with this cute little teddy bear head. Oh, so I awesome. Great to see you, Master. It's great to see you too, Pockets. All right, so we've got a nice little landing pad here for the gyrocopter that we built at the end of the last episode. So we got some stuff to put away. Take and put those there. Let's take and get the rest of the stuff put in a bin somewhere um, I should take and feed the rest of that to Jordy because Jordy loves his clay or or no hold on hold on no we're not gonna give that clay to Jordy we're gonna hang on to that clay actually so that we have repair materials and so that we can make more cobblestone if we need it oh, I got another thousand pieces of cobblestone right there okay and how many blocks do I need to finish this? One, two, three, looks like four. Well, let's take and make those last four blocks because I don't like leaving things looking unfinished. And then copy shape. And we're just going to plop them in. There we go, there's the lovely morning tones. So I'll put all that goodness away. Um, doesn't look like I have any cash sitting around anywhere. Oh look, I already had cobblestone cubes made. How awesome is that? Just shows how closely I pay attention to the game when I'm playing. So put that away. Put our extra pockets away in there because we don't need her right now. Alright, so this is a relatively large POI, so I'm going to take some extra 9 mil with me. And the other thing that I should do while I'm thinking of it, um, I should have some duct tape somewhere. And some forged iron. I only want 10 of each. There we are. Okay, I can just make those in my pockets and carry them with me. So let's take and repair that. And then the other things that I need are... My tier 6 desert vulture, which requires 
all those things. Let's see if we have the stuff to get that started. Well, I have more than enough handgun parts. And the thing that's going to slow me down is the steel. So I have the duct tape. I have the springs. At least I think I have the springs. I do most certainly have the springs. I have the legendary parts. So the only thing that I need is more forged steel. So let's come over here to Jordy. And tell him to make a whole bunch of forged steel because that's what we need. There we go. I don't think I have any more iron to throw in there at the moment. I lie. I have more iron. Let's take and get that in there as well. And yeah, we'll come back for that later. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm like, where's my thingy thing? Uh, while I'm thinking of it. Vehicle armor, we don't need those. Okay, what do all we have in here? Okay, I thought I was building a couple of things for that. Yes, I was. So let's get those modifications in there as well. So it only takes one thing of fuel to fuel that right up. How much space has this got? Uh, that's decent. All right, I'm gonna take and put the truck away for now. I'm not using it at the time being, so those can both go in there. Grab me some first aid kits, because I'm definitely gonna be just getting slapped in the face lots. Okay, this thing works the opposite to what I was thinking it does. So which way are we heading? We're heading this way. All right. Uh, spoiler alert, I have not used the gyrocopter very much. I really am kind of clueless how to drive it. So this should be interesting. Let's see if we crash. All right, we'll put that supercharged to use. Uh, just flying around. Look at the scenery. Don't have to worry about the zombies. Oh, this is a luxury. Although I do miss splattering zombie brains all over the hood. That that was like friggin' epic. It's the inner psychopath. <laughs> So yes, this will be highly entertaining, flying through all this. That's the other bad thing about this guy is it's... I'm not sure if it's actually faster or not. Couldn't tell you. But we'll get to where we're going. I suppose technically it would be faster either which way you look at it because, you know, you're not stopping or anything like that. You don't have to worry about any zombie killing. No stuff getting in your way. Like I said, it's it's a luxury. Uh, the biggest bitch though, I can just I just know it already. I know it already. The toughest thing is going to be landing this bugger. That is going to be very, very fun. You can see so much too. Well, when it's 
not all like foggy and smoky and crap. Let's take a quick gander at the map. Let's take it come down a little bit. Then I want to level off. And I'm not sure how to land this thing. Oh, this is wonderful. Fortunately, it's just the burnt forest, so. Take and turn around. Ah, oh, brutal. That was not easy to fly, definitely. I hurt myself a little bit too landing it. All right, I want to take and set her down just over here. My senses have picked up something. Now I have to try to re remind myself that the zombies are a little bit faster and a little bit meaner. Okay, so... Yes, the Dr. Karen Higashi residence. Okay, well, let's head on in. See how much trouble we can get into right away. Probably not the best idea to be starting with the machete. And your head should be about there. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, sure, let's read everything. Why not? Okay, so that suggests that there could be a puppers around here somewhere. Ooh, some lock picks. Very nice. That's always a good get. So that door is locked, so we follow the lights. Okay, so there's one down there. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, we got a supply vote. Nope. As you can see, ferals are faster too. I thought I'd increase the difficulty and make thing, make my life more difficult because, you know, why not? So we got a supply vote, weapon supplies, explosive supplies, or armor supplies. Now let's flush his brains out of his skull. There we go. That'll annoy the spider over there. Okay, and we've got about a few. Oh, nope, oh, what the hell just hit me? 
How did... Ah. And this is why I call them shithawks, because they are so freaking shitty. <laughs> Fortitude mod. Very cool. Can't use it, but still cool. Let's grab some stuff that we don't need. That zombie that we're hearing walking around up there is. Master, we are not alone. Another one. All right, we are now infected. Wonderful. Good thing this is a medical place. Hopefully, we will find some stuff. Uh, not much that I can do about that right now. I didn't think to bring any... Oh. That was the wrong friggin' way! Okay, switch your gun. Oh, don't run into the water. Don't run into the water. Oh, I'm bleeding out too. What the hell? How the hell did I get up there the first time then? Okay. <laughs> well, that was a little bit brutal. Okay, take my time, place my shots. Don't have to kill them all at once. I've got a bad feeling about this. Nope. Bad zombie. Ah, uh, you just had to twitch on that shot, didn't you? Oof. They are definitely more difficult to kill. Alright, just the one remaining puppers. Oh, there we go. Area is cleared. Um, I don't know if the first aid kit will do anything for my current problems. No, it will not. And I didn't bring anything with me other than med kits. Like, oh, good job, me. Good job, me. Yeah, ramp up the difficulty, all that good stuff, and then don't bring any healthcare stuff with you. Great idea. Great idea. Of course, the vending machine doesn't carry antibiotics. Okay, that door is locked. Nothing to help me in the trash can. Oh, we are messed up. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Well, that was interesting. She's coming after me. I shot her in the throat and she like squealed and settled down. <laughs> oh, that's kind of entertaining.
All right, those radiated whites are much, much meaner. They are rather difficult to put down. Okay, looks like we got three more. Oh, oh, oh. Three more over this way. And no medical supplies. Okay, I'm going to have to move a little bit faster. Beer will fix my problems. Uh, not much there, but I will take and eat that. We'll toss that. Uh, let's take and scrap a few things that we don't need here. Empty vending machine. there to help us can read that though oh, nothing in the medical cabinet not good And the worst part about it too is it's like it's not like I don't have the space I have all the space ever that I could ever need for storing stuff any antibiotics in the old trash no of course not I'm gonna take and slam that door No one else in there. We got another zombie trying to find their way to me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to use my universal lockpick and open this door. Yay. Hopefully we can get in here without too much trouble. I'm going to hop up here. So, multiple votes. We got critical immune, nourishment, or no time. Ooh, critical immune would really help me out. Mm. Mm. Yeah, critical immune would help me out so much. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm being cheeky and I'm voting for it because I need it so bad right now. Oh shit. Oh. I thought that was going to be a drop into a hole. Okay, I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. Ah, oh, there's one of you. Gas critical immune. Come on, antibiotics. No antibiotics. Okay, I don't see those other two zombies. All right, let's carry on. Oh, I really need some antibiotics. That infection is getting kind of nasty. Mind you, it, in some ways, it doesn't matter that much. Oop. It, it's it's not a huge deal, but it's a deal. Okay, nothing in any of that that I need. That's not important. Got another tourist. Okay, that door is unlocked. This one is locked. Alright, we know which way we're going. Pretty sure that's a corpse, just some luggage there. Take and put my NVGs on. Another home cooking book. Five more of those to go until we know it all. My senses have picked up something. So another book that we've already read. Okay, that's the sound of a white. Hopefully this doesn't wake him up. Kinda does, but not to the point where it's a problem. We'll shoot him through the window, just because he's kinda visible. Coffee maker is not going to have anything that we need. Don't want to go too, too fast because if we do, we'll wake up a whole hornet's nest of problems, which we are trying to avoid. Come on, Antip uh -huh. Fine then, I don't want any antibiotics. Don't give me any antibiotic drops ever again. I don't need them. Okay, nothing else that way. Oh, 
Master, we are not alone. Just blasting every piece of glass in the joint except for the zombie head. Ah, oh, it's so great. Okay, looks like there's another rad spider. Or no, that's a white. Gotta double tap him to take him down. Oh my god, get good noob! Enemies, prepare for conflict. If only I could shoot in a straight line. So we woke somebody up. All right, I need you to hold on to some stuff for me again. Thank you very much. Alright, here's the next door. Let's make sure that we're loaded up. Oh, I see ya. I remember the time when you used to be able to find medical cabinets like everywhere, but that time is no longer in existence. Take advantage of the armor piercing. Still no medical cabinets. That infection's getting nastier.
Oh, got a big mean biker. Okay. Now I want to be somewhere that's not too cramped when this attack comes on. Uh, 12 seconds. Two seconds. There we go, handled it like a champ. <laughs> See if I can find this other one that's over this way somewhere. Let's get back to where we were here. Hmm, another one over here as well. Where is it? Weird. Must be upstairs or something somewhere. My senses have picked up something. There we go. Maybe this one's up the stairs. Ammo pile. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we found that one. Now I don't remember where the heck we were going. Hmm, this way? Or am I just like going in a circle here? Uh, 
I'm just going in a circle. Look at me getting lost. Oh, I'm so good at getting lost in the POIs. I could have swore that it was this way. Ah, now I got my bearings a little bit better. I'm so good at getting lost in POIs. Master, we are not alone. Okay, then up the stairs, not that way. This is the problem when you start smashing out uh, doors and stuff. Mess with where you're going a little bit. Okay, so we can't go that way. We were heading this way. Ah, uh, no way. Heavy duty concentration. Oh. And I still almost get eaten. <laughs> Vitamins, not quite what I'm looking for. Can't get through there. Oh, there we go. I've got a bad feeling about this. No antibiotics anywhere to be found. So I can't get through there without getting hurt. to get back up to where I was up there so if I come down here and I'm instantly lost again oh this is a brutal POI
these tier fives are just they're just so damn big. Hard meat, so useful. Now we're slightly back on track. Because heaven forbid that my shit be properly loaded before I go into a fight. And that's how you clear a room full of zombies. The ammo pile with nothing good in it. Um, I don't think I've done all this though yet. Have I? Nothing in there. And no zombies in here, no medical piles. Okay, carrying on. Okay, I think I would be smart to take and repair both of these. Take and free up some inventory space here quick. Speaking of which, There we go. Let's take and unlock the ATM, see if there's any good amount of cash in it or not. So it looks like the game is just not going to give me any antibiotics, so I'm not going to worry about that until I get back home. Master, 
We are not alone. All right, let's see what's in these two boxes here quick. Crossbow. And a bunch of books. Look at that. The minute I say that I'm not going to worry about it until I, until I get back home, then the game's like, oh, fine. Here's some antibiotics. It's not going to cure the whole thing, but it'll cut it back a little bit. Well, oh, it's a shame I can't use that tar. Couple more books that we don't need. My senses have picked up something. The ceiling gonna collapse on me. All right, here we go. Down and down through here. That door is locked. Uh, maybe I will take those. When in doubt, follow the Incoming lights. Enemies. Prepare for conflict. <laughs> Ooh, tier five ratchet. go there's the nightfall noise now the zombies are even meaner thank you pockets I really appreciate you standing right in front of the strongest zombie in the group okay I'm gonna switch to NVGs Nothing that way. 
Nothing this way. Just a few normal burnt zombies. Nothing too dire to deal with through there. Okay, that gets us around the fire. My senses have picked up something. There we are. Okay, working stiff box. Ooh, that's a very good get, especially if you're doing this early game, but this is not early game. This is very late stage, but still. All right, I'm now not sure which way I'm going. Ah, oh, eyes seared, retinas seared like tuna steaks. So being that I have to turn that off, does that mean that I go back this way? Maybe? Nope, nothing that way. Hmm. <laughs> nope, I can't get around that. Maybe my parkour skill can. Nope, it won't get me up there. So we're obviously not going that way. Maybe down this hatch? <laughs> nope, I've been there already. we go. Now we found another path. <laughs> Heaven forbid it have some friggin' antibiotics in it. Yeah, I know. I've been talking about those for a while now. Ever since I got bit in the face. I see. Oh, that's so satisfying when you can predict where one is from, from behind a thing and just shoot him right in the face. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
Oh, back here, I see. Okay, and then I got another radiated around the corner here. Oh, I already shot him. All right, here we go. Back around the outside. Nothing cool at the very end of that. Okay. Another five zombies. Ooh, very fancy. So being that I'm going to be using this as a backup, I should make sure that this is reloaded before I start doing things. And then load this. Okay. And then yeah, let's make sure that this is loaded too so I can use this as a backup to my backup to my backup. <laughs> There we go. Well, that was not a good thing. So that caused an explosion and an alarm. You just ring the zombie dinner bell, why don't you? Oh, I see ya. There you are. Pew pew. Okay, I don't want to get close to that fire because I don't want to burn my face. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hello, there are you. Oh, she came bearing presents. Not the kind of presents that I really want, but hey, it's better than a kick in the junk. So that to me says caution shithawks. Let's continue going this way for a hot minute. Okay, nothing particularly interesting there to raid.
Nothing that I want in either of those. So that's also a locked door. I'm going to backtrack for a moment here. Oop, no, that's not where I wanted to backtrack to. I wanted to backtrack this way. There we go. Nothing in those two zombie closets. Let's get a little closer. Maybe they'll spawn after the fact. Nope. All right. So technically, I wouldn't be able to get up there. So I'm going to go the other way first. Just got to remember which way I was going. Here we go. There we go. Just a bunch of 762 that I don't want, so I'm just gonna throw in the ground. Incoming enemy. Prepare for conflict. Couple of big mean whites there. Okay, I'm gonna give you anything that you can carry as well. Uh, I don't have any food on me, so all my food must be over here. No, I want to keep those. Put those on you. Okay, so the next way. Will be through here. Take and reload quick. these ladies gardening any antibiotics? No, they were not. Ooh, some explosives. My senses have picked up something. They're all just going to get up one right after the other. Okay, that door is locked, so we got to go this way. We got a spider in the closet. As spiders do. No one in that closet. Couple of businessmen zombies. Man, this doctor must have been having like a real rager when the apocalypse went down. Because like why would there be this many people in somebody's house? Looks like we might be getting close to the end of the POI. Might be. Nope, 
Reload, reload. Master, we are not alone. Come on, Flappy Turd, get over here. Gotcha. Alright, so we got a new vote. We got Silly Vote, Celebration, Home Run Derby, or Silly Sounds. Take out as many of these guys as I can without them noticing me. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, there we go, another flappy turd. Ah, oh, this is the worst possible place for this. Home run derby on a rooftop. Like the worst possible spot to have it. Nice. Not enough points, I didn't think so. Home run derby on the rooftop is just does not work. <laughs> this one run off to there you are take and remove your brains oh another shit hawk and looks like five more targets left
two more targets. One more target. Alright, looks like this is just a waypoint. Alright, come here, pockets. Let's take a stash of stuff. Okay, let me see what all I don't need here. Oh, I could really use to dump off some stuff, but getting back up here would be a bitch and a half. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. What else? Oh, okay, so there's a rope over here. Okay, let's reload. It's all good pockets, nothing to really worry about. Alright, so there is the loot room. That door is locked. Damn it, I can't get out. Ah, oh, no way, no way. Just keep firing till the gun goes click. All right, I got a broken arm, an abrasion, a concussion. And an infection. Excellent. I don't suppose it. Oh, yeah, splint won't do me any good. That's just superficial. I'm using firearms anyway, so. It doesn't My particularly matter. Nobody in there. All these metal folding chairs just totally in the way. How many times have I got to shoot you before you drop? Like, goodness sakes. Feeling about 
All right, so another vote. Got medical supplies, mystery supplies, or book supplies. And that's still not all the zombies. What the hell? I've gone through like all my nine mil, like so much of it. Mm, can I grab these? Yes, I can. All right. And the best thing is, is the game is not going to tell me where these remaining zombies are, which is just oh, so awesome. I'm gonna have to break down some doors and that to get to where I need to be. All right, that's not quite so bad. No antibiotics, I don't want any, nope, of course not. So I have no idea where the remaining zombies of this POI are, but there must be some in a closet or something that we didn't that we didn't find. Oops, more crappy seven six two that we don't need. Now, infest cash. Oh, look at that. We got our tier six desert vulture that we were going to build that we don't need to build now because we have found it. So let's take and go like this. Complete. Modify. Complete. Seven six two can all go to hell because we don't need it. My senses have picked up something. Oop, I missed that pile of books. Ok, 
Okay, nobody over here. Nobody over there. Suppose I left the food on the tr on the tr vehicle. Knowing me, ah, oh, where are the last zombies in this place? Come on. Those are outside. I have been through all here. That was not the last zombie. Doesn't take us where we need to go either. Okay, there's through here. That zombie's outside. Back through here. Then up the stairs. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Can't go that way. That's all cleared. Grab a snack on the way by. Okay, um, the next ones are fourteen meters down. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, what the hell? So it says the last zombies are in this room. But they aren't spawning? That's a little frustrating. There we go, we figured it out. Okay, so the vehicle's over this way. Let's see what we got going on. So let's take and have a nice big snack. got on storage here. So I'm healed up as much as I can be. I don't have any drugs for that and I don't have any drugs for that. So which trader are we going to? Okay, back home to you. So we've got our next vote. No time, nourishment, or shield. And just to be on the safe side, I'll put some fuel in. All right, and away we go. Well, that was an interesting day and a half. That's for sure. I was expecting that to be a long POI. Like, that that residence is a big place. Didn't expect it to be quite so difficult to find all the zombies, but hey, that's, that's typical for me as well. I always seem to have... Or I always seem to struggle with those types of things. I don't know why that is, but... So, our buff vote this time is no time. Moves time is more a small amount and hides the time on display. So, we don't know what's going on for a moment here. Just gonna have a quick look at the map. That almost looks like a trader wreck down there. I'm not going to worry too much about it though. And there's my first home sweet home just over that way there. Okay, we haven't visited this town I don't think. Um, let's reference the map here once more. No, we have not. Either which way, we need to get home and get ourselves fixed up. We need to get back and take all the drugs. Alright, whatever you do while you're up in the air, do not press E. 
because that E is for eject. And that would not be good. That would not be fun. I suppose that would be one way to end the series, though. Just, like, fly up and jump out of the gyrocopter. <laughs> Splatter! <laughs> I think I'm coming down just a little bit too steep. There we go, another perfectly terrible landing. Wow, this thing is such a pain in the ass to drive. God damn it. And it takes nothing to damage it, too. That's just... Oh. Okay, what do we got in the storage to sell here? Let's take and sort this. Sell you, 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 you. Uh, hang on to all this stuff here. That can be sold, too. Sell that and those. Alrighty, and we got a whole bunch more bundles too. Man. Uh, actually, I'm going to open these. And then we can sell a whole bunch of that stuff. Because the amount that I have back at the base, I really don't need those. Uh, do you have. Your armor looks a Time's a wasting. Let's get another job for you. I'm gonna take the nine mil armor piercing right nine up. mil. This the finest armor money can buy. He's got nothing to help me out. No antibiotics. No painkillers. There we go, sell all that good stuff. We got so much 9 mil, that's awesome. Uh, let's see what else he's got for 9 mil. I'm gonna buy that entire stack. And then. Mm, I don't see much else that I want at the moment. Remember, Trader Joel's if you need armor. So level 90, 367 game stage, 6,841 kills. And I've got four skill points available. Okay, so since I have that concussion, I am down a point on that. So let's get back to the home base and resolve that first. Um, first, actually, no. I'm gonna check to see what he has for jobs. See if he has something interesting Remember, that we haven't done armor yet. If you take this job, and I thought you were the MP. Cave Always tell Are you looking to earn some no Red Mesa Remember, compound. You complete the job. Well, that's a Navis game corrections. Two bit tower. If you want to earn some dukes, 
We've got no action, no puny coin. That actually sounds interesting. Hey, go -getter. Okay, so that's way up there. When would the next horde night be? So our next horde night would be day fifty six. So end of next episode. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we'll take and see what all we need to do up at the base, and then go from there, I guess. And my steel tools. I can't make tier 6 tools yet. No, I'm still at level 4 on those. All right, let's see how much fun we have landing this thing back at the home base. I've got a bad feeling about this. Beautiful job landing that. Alright, it's saying our infection's getting severe. So let's take and fix that. And then fix that as well. Scrap all of those. And we've got our armor piercing 9 mil over here. Alright, you know what? Not so much of this. I just don't need it. I can't sell it. This is just too much of it. I'm sure this will make somebody cry somewhere. Don't need it. Got way too much of it. And every quest I do seems to provide me with more, so like I do use the sniper rifle, of course, but I don't use it enough that <laughs> look at all that. I just don't use it enough that it's an actual issue to like hang on to it. Food type stuffs. Everything that's supposed to go in there can go in there. That can go in that bin there. And that's all food as well. You can put another stack of fat cash in there. Okay, those are supposed to be nine mil slots. Put 
there we are that looks better um, I feel like the bow is now obsolete so I'm not taking the stash that stuff away and I'm gonna roll with antibiotics on my pain or ugh, gonna roll with antibiotics there and let's go half a stack of those Take the rest of that, put all that away. All right, so as I was saying, the next Horde Night is day 56. We're on day 54. So the next episode will be the next Horde Night. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just like not sure. Well, let's take and do some base maintenance type stuff. Take and harvest this up. There we go. Got another super corn seed. Couple of pumpkin seeds. Go take that away. Uh, what else have I got for seeds? Now we're taking and grow some mushrooms. Harvest those ones. Those away. Yeah, let's grow some more potatoes. And what have I got for seeds over here? I've got a couple of yucca seeds. And then I guess I'll go to the last one will be coffee. Yeah, sure, why not? So I'm gonna check to see if I have the stuff to make gumbo. I don't know the recipe, it's just about there. Um what kind of food can we cook? Oh yes, might as well clear that out. And we'll cook some food here as well. How about stew? Meat stew. Everything takes potatoes. Yeah, like everything takes potatoes. What do I have for potatoes? I has 35 potatoes. Mind you, I really don't need to cook anything. I've got so much food anyway, so I guess I'm not going to worry about that. Um, oh, yes, that's right. We had some iron on the cook here as well. Or some steel, rather. Oh, Jordy needs some more wood to burn. No wood in that one. There we are. that I would need concrete mix stone and 
sand, which I have like very little of, so that's not going to work. Not ratchet, I'm looking at impact driver. Ooh, I could make that. But I mean, that's just like crazy talk. Okay, so let's max out perception. There we go. So the two skills that we were using for this series have been maxed out. And that's maxed. That's maxed. I guess I'll put that point there. And then crafting skills. We know pretty much everything that we're actually ma making use of. Only four more books to go there. Look at that. Almost everything is just maxed right out. That's so awesome. And our infection is healing away. So I'm going to take and stash that away. Take and put that water over there. Let's have a cup of coffee. All right. Oh, are, are, are you still full of stuff here, Pockets? What's going on with you? Yes, pockets are still full of stuff too. Ah, uh, so many things to maintain. Bullets, 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 bullets. Full auto mod, not really necessary for anything other than the tar. Um, let's just stash everything away. Let's grab the motorcycle and go on a quick little trader run here. I'm going to hang on to the bow though. I'm not going to sell that at this time. should I sell that and that okay ah oh, that was a beautiful clutch there we are we'll head back to the trader quick and see if we can sell all this crap free up some space in our inventory so we got a zombie attack vote, we got a tourist attack, a zoo attack, or mystery attack. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. You need some armor? Raider Joel's is your one-stop shop for all things armor. Okay, so the only thing that I can't sell you is are my now machetes. my favorite customer of the day. Bear is the biggest threat. Oh, we scared him off. He was like, oh my god, no. It's 
harvest up all of you because you know you don't want to waste anything during an apocalypse that's not a good thing okay now I'm gonna take a look at my armor here quick triple triple still triple oh okay so the only thing that I could do would be another single which I think is sold like a dumbass okay let's go buy that back and then we'll be fully unencumbered our armor is top notch. Yeah, I'll trade you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I needed a sale after dealing with gawkers and talkers all day. Modify. There we go. Ah, look at that. We'll never be encumbered again. Yeah, so that POI was an absolute monster. Like, there were so many times we just about died. That was just absolutely brutal. Ugh. If I didn't have that parkour skill where I could actually jump over zombies, I would be dead so many times over. That has saved my ass so many times. Highly recommended skill to have is full parkour. Can't go wrong with it. I can tell you that right now. There's no more room for any more feathers in there. That can go in that one. Ooh, I've got some nitrate as well, which can go... What? I don't have any room for nitrates? Okay, well, that will go there, that will go there. And that goes over there. So we did clear off some room in here. And let's take and open the rest of these, because why the hell not? You know, I might actually think about setting up those dart traps. I've got nine of them. I've never I've never really played with them very much. I haven't experimented with the dart traps too much. But, like, I've got so much ammunition for them, it's kind of ridiculous. So there'd be no reason why I couldn't set them up. But the question is, where... Let's take and pop down here and have a closer look at things. So I got the two shotgun traps there, which takes care of most stuff that comes up here. Not sure. Okay, that doesn't show me the health of blocks, though. I'm going to take and get rid of this stuff. It's not serving me any purpose, so I might as well remove it kind of in the way when I come home to you, so. I'm gonna grab me some, I should have some black strap coffee around here somewhere. Or a Mega Crush. Which is better? Stamina regen. Okay, that one's got the better regen. All right.
such a bad feeling about this. We got some trouble rolling in. Indeed we do. Oh, hello. Ooh, just all the loot tonight. Excellent. Give me all that goodness. Take that one down too. Looks like that's the end of that wandering horde. A little bit of excitement. Okay, 762s. I do not need any of that. That can all go away. Uh, we'll take and munch another one of those. It'll keep us from getting sick again for a while. And we'll continue tearing this down. Now, the other thing that I'd like to do is set up some more farm plots, but I don't think I have the stuff to do it because I need nitrate powder, and I don't think I have much for that. Yeah, I've only got like eight pieces of nitrate. That's not going to do it. Nope. Definitely not, but I could use some more fine plots, so that could be something else we could work towards as well. In some ways, I don't know why I didn't remove this stuff sooner, but hey, whatever. What's going on with our forge here? I'm sure, we'll take and smelt that stuff up. Because why not? And you know what, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to take and do a thing here. Let's go modify, complete, waste of bullets, but that should be enough to get our heat high enough to spawn a screamer. Or two or three. One can hope. And that can go there, that can go there, there. You're in the way again there, pockets. Yeah, like I could set up dart traps, but it's like, where do I set them up? Oh, I see another thing that I can do here tonight. That we haven't sorted yet. Which is getting this electric fence back up and set up here. There we go, that looks better. Yeah. I 
I'm not sure where I'd even think about setting those dart traps up if I were to set them up. I don't know. I do not know. One thing I do know is that this POI has served us very well though throughout this series. It's a good sturdy POI, it's nice and tall. Like, I suppose I could, like, line this with dart traps and then, like, set them up with uh, the step plates so it's, like, one after the other. If they step on the plate, the little dart trap goes off. I don't know how much good that would do, but I could set it up. Another thing that I could do would be to uh, put a couple dart traps along one side of this, maybe. That could be another interesting option. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to sleep on that and see if anything comes to me and be like, yeah, there's a cool idea. I was hoping that second shot wouldn't kill him, but it did. Oh well, gotta go get that loot. Can't leave that loot sitting in the wilderness. Gotta be in my pockets. Oh yeah. But yeah, overall a productive two days. Uh, in some ways, the second day feels a little bit less productive than the first one on this episode. Because the second... He was just kind of, you know, pissing around finding that last damn zombie. And then by the time we got back home, didn't have enough time to actually kill anything. Or not kill anything, but to go on another adventure, I mean. So that can go in there. And that can go in there as well. Take put some more materials away. Those go in the pew pew drawer. I'm going to stash that there. Got a couple more seeds, another piece of cloth. I'll put my motorcycle in this bin here. Alright. You know what? That could be a fun episode too. It would be to uh, spend an episode being a pirate and go and do all of these. That could be fun. Uh, I don't know if I'd do them in the wasteland or not, but of course, could like do them in the pine forest, which isn't too far away. That could be an interesting interesting time. Mind you, the wasteland would make them more difficult and more interesting. So yeah, all in all, productive couple days. We got a fair bit done, killed lots of zombies. So we're leaving off the day with 
6,853 zombie kills, level 90, with a game stage of 367. Uh, do we have any more challenges completed? So I've killed 50 white zombies so far. That wasn't quite enough to get us the next level up. And I'm going to take it and... So our next mission is up that way. So I'll take and plop that down right there. Alright, so next episode will be the next Horde Knight. Horde Knight number 8. Should be a good time. Hopefully the zombies will be nice and difficult and it'll make for some very entertaining zombie killing goodness. But for now, this episode is done. Thank you guys for all, t all for tuning in. I hope you guys all enjoyed the show. So next episode... Oh, bear with me here just a moment. I'm a little bit slow on the draw here. So, our next episode will be on Friday, if I remember correct. Yes, Friday night. So, Friday at 8 p.m., we'll be back with Horde, New Horde Night number 8. We'll be killing lots more zombies, and hopefully our base can survive the upgraded uh, zombie difficulty. It'll be interesting to see if we get our butts kicked or not. Uh, we almost died in that last POI, which was absolutely great. I, we want this to be a little bit more challenging because more challenging equals hopefully more entertaining. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. I'll be back Friday night with another stream. And we'll continue our adventure in the zombie apocalypse with the Omniscient series. We've got almost, we've learned pretty much everything we can learn out of the game, which is absolutely phenomenal. We've even got lots of stuff that we aren't perked into that we can't use. That's kind of sucks, but hey, that's... That's the way the game goes. Sometimes you find all kinds of stuff that you can't use, and the next time you find everything that you can use. That's just the nature of seven days to die. So I'll see you guys next time. And remember, please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Thank you.